Hello, everyone. I'm dying right now that he turned the music down slowly to give that added effect. I wasn't expecting that. That caught me off guard. You really could do that in post-production. No. Uh, <laughs> you could do that live. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. In other this words, so extra. Good. We just wasted 42 seconds. No. So now so everybody easy. everybody's oh, now listening to know. 42 seconds of crap that they haven't that they definitely didn't need to hear. Okay. Well, ev- everyone, welcome to The Professors, a podcast that is run by the Coalition of Friends. Um, this is the first episode. My name is Garrett Odin. Austin Levin. Bye. <laughs> I, um, so we're here, um, we're gonna discuss the Cloverfield Paradox, oh, the Cloverfield Paradox, we just watched the film, and there's many thoughts in my head, and I'm sure these people have thoughts in their head, too. A little bit. A little bit. A little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. The voices in my head are talking a lot today. That's quite exciting. Thank you. You're welcome. So... Um, this is going to be a tangent podcast. We're going to tangent on whatever we want. That's what we do. So let's dive right in. Well, it's not what we've done. We've never done this before. It's what we're going to do. <laughs> True. True. So let's dive right in. Um, Cloverfield Paradox, good or bad? It was, it was above average. Above average? For all movies. I'd say it was good. I, I, I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I, I definitely enjoyed it overall. Would you recommend people go see this film? If they watch the other two. If so Even you, though they don't connect. They do, though. That was clearly. They do, but like not obviously. If you, didn't watch, if you didn't watch the other two, you wouldn't be completely lost. But if you watched the other two, you'd certainly be less confused. I like how this answers questions. Mm-hmm. Doesn't explain where the monster comes from. Doesn't explain the time period and everything. Because different technologies, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. What else did you write down? What else did I write down? Okay, yeah. So, while during the movie, I took thoughts, but really, they weren't that many. Um, it was one page of notes. So, I have... So, the movie starts off talking about a particle accelerator. And all that. And I was like, why? Because they needed energy. Yeah, but why do they... <laughs> the particle accelerator shouldn't create energy in that sense. First off, I'm confused in the first place why they need energy. Because it seems as though this world has wind and a sun. Okay, but wind <laughs> energy and solar energy isn't as fast, vastly producible. Yeah, but it could be vastly it's producible. Not as fast. If you, if you have if you have a massive if you if you install solar panels on every single rooftop, that would be enough right there. And Block Island, for example, Here, I wrote a research paper on this. Block on renewable energy. You can. It is very easy to replace oil with solar and wind and hydroelectric. Not so much hydroelectric because that damages the rivers, but. Block Island, for example, off the coast of Rhode Island is powered solely on wind power, and they actually have so much power that they actually siphon it back to the mainland. It's like a two-mile-long island, only run on, like, eight windmills. So it, it definitely is doable. possible. Mm-hmm. It's, it's quite doable. So maybe there's a reason that they didn't explain, but they I certainly didn't hear any explanation for why they need power. I don't like... If this is supposed to tie in the Cloverfield... If this is supposed to tie into it, why? It does tie into that Cloverfield. Because the reason that the party's happening in Cloverfield is because the dude is leaving to go to Japan to work for Tagorado, which is an energy company. What? It's 1-1. One, 1-1? One. One, one? <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. That's what you get. Um... But yeah, they, first off, I don't know why they would need more power. Why would they run out of power? Power is not something you like run out of. <laughs> Efficiency? Well, oil, you, well, you could run out of oil, sure, yeah, but you can't run out of wind or solar energy. Totally okay, here's what I'm saying. Efficient, okay, so this is about wind turbines. 
And uh, even oil, they had oil, they were just fighting over it. Mm-hmm. I get that there was less oil, it's the yeah. future. I mean, obviously there's less oil. Is it the future, though? Yeah. It looked futuristic. But... Not very futuristic, but Why was Clovey but, but there? Why was Clovey there? Yeah. The, that's what the <laughs> monster's <laughs> name is. Clovey's Clovey. not a third Earth. Because the... the Earth but it's the, the same Earth. monster from the first movie. But did they come from the same Earth as the first movie? Because they... I'm going to assume yes. They came from an Earth that was super futuristic. But in the first movie, they weren't futuristic and they had the monsters. Because... The second Earth they went to seemed like it was further in the future after the war had already escalated. Just to clear this up, if you're confused, they used the particle accelerator and went to a different dimension. No, That's what these people should have already seen this movie if they're going to listen. Well, if you haven't seen the you movie, you're welcome. Movie. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, this is not a movie review podcast, so we're not going to go through in-depth through each scene. Here we go. Good, Efficiency not- measures how much of the primary energy source, examples wind, coal, gas, is converted into electricity. NSW, whatever the fuck that means, coal-fired power stations convert 29% to 37% of the coal into electricity, and NSW gla- gas plants convert 32% to 50% of gas processed into electricity. Wind turbines convert around 40% of the wind passing through the blades into electricity, and almost 50% at peak efficiency. Over time, coal power stations operate at around 85% of full capacity, known as the capacity factor. Gas power station capacity factors vary from as high as 85 to less than 10. Okay. The average capacity factor of wind farm in Australia is around 35% and can range from 25 to 45%. Wind farm capacity factors are lower than coal and baseload gas plants, but they use their energy source more efficiently and can be large-scale suppliers of electricity. So they could have used it. Yes. They just have to because, m- yeah. find arable land to make wind Yeah, and there's plenty farms. of that. They also need land to build solar panels. There's plenty of that. Don't yeah. quote me, but I believe NSW stands for New South Wales. New South Wales. No, because I, they actually said <laughs> We're gonna like, get with a, the energy and stuff, like apparently they have some energy department thing there. So maybe they have like regulations or something. I don't know. What I do know is unless wind and the sun explode, I, I mean, the particle accelerator is probably them trying to get a lot so that they can well, maybe... Yeah. Like, it's for the whole world. I can't... The only thing I can think of is that they ran out of energy and now they don't have enough energy to make renewable energy. So they can't make those wind farms. They, that's what I mean. Like, like maybe it's taking too long. The so they're like, let's just the make nu- some nuclear thing the and put it in the renewable energy grid they have set up isn't enough to expand the renewable energy grid. Yeah. Much. That's that's the only thing I could think of. I don't know if they would have thought that far in depth. I don't think they Just want to say, I had photo booth opened for 50 hours. And so there was a 50 hour recorded thing on the laptop I just deleted. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that took a, a bit of space. No, well, I mean, it wasn't loading when I ended it, so. Okay. Next. Next. Next, Next thing, um... Yeah, I was talking about, I wrote about the, the reason they were doing this so they could have endless amounts of energy, not so they, they could just get enough, endless. Well, when it malfunctioned the first time, they had, what, 600 terabolts? How much is that? That is a lot. You Can just, that be done now with anything no. we have? No. You measure, nowadays, you measure power output in gigavolts, not gigavolts. terabolts. Tera is a lot bigger than giga. It's just, and it's usually larger, isn't and it? it's usually like tens of gigavolts or hundreds <laughs> of gigavolts, not hundreds of teravolts, because that is a lot of power. Teravolt is a dual type electric slash flying Pokemon. Yeah, I know that. But oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I know that. It's a pterodactylus Pokemon. Yeah. Um. Two one. Is that a good? Is two that a good two one? That's a good two one. Everybody, uh, Austin is a Boston With four fan. Four seconds left in the period. Of first period or third? Of the first period. 
Terra Vault it usually leads a swarm of Terras. They're a fearsome Pokemon and protect their kin by generating the thunderstorms. Or article. Their wings are very powerful and they only have to land a couple of times every day. They never land on the flat ground though. That's the Pokedex. Episode. Congratulations, you've just learned a bunch of useless information. That was what a Terra Vault is. One million million volts, so that's ten to the twelfth. Yes. That's a lot. That's a lot. Terra is ten to the Okay. Next. Giga is ten to the nine. So yeah, that's over a thousand times more. And you're talking hundreds of thousands of times more. That's a lot of power. JJ, what's had some math to do. What's the <laughs> oh the science in this movie was so right. It wasn't. It, the physics was a little wonky. The physics was bad. But because it's a space fun. movie, we yeah. don't know how it would actually be. Um, I mean the space science was right with the water. I like the water scene. The water scene was, was cool. really cool. What was the worst death in the worst movie? Death. I mean, I feel like Monk. He had like kind of the saddest death. He just he just got he shot just by left. a gun. He just got no. Monk was the dude that got shot. Yeah, that was just. That was. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Who's the guy? Who's the guy Keel. that floated away? Keel. Yeah, he Keel. floated away. His death was unnecessary as shit. That yeah, was like unnecessary. In a, in a perfect world, there was probably a way you could do it remotely. They were it, they were movie. saying it could it's be a done movie, remotely. and you didn't even have somebody die heroically, so it, it, it happened. Um, Chris O'Dowd's death was sad. He was great. Why do all the comedians... T.J. Miller dies by eating, by... He got eaten by the monster. His arm lives on, though. His arm, His lives, arm on. lives on. Dude, that's gonna be a meme. I hope it is. Chris O'Dowd's arm. Um... What other deaths? I mean, Volkov's warm death was disgusting. That was, that was interesting. That was disgusting. Mm. I thought, I was going to think there was like an endless amount of worms. Why were the worms even there? What were the worms for? Why were they in there in the first place? They didn't explain that. That's a good question. What do you think? Uh... Maybe no idea. Disposing of waste. I, I, was I mean, they're on a space station for two years. What yeah. are you gonna do with your waste? They just Throw why were they on worms? there for two years? Why didn't they like it switch? Cost money to bring them back. I mean, yeah, sure. energy and everything, but. And if you bring them back, everybody knows, and then people lose their shit because yeah. it's chaos. Because this thing's not working, they're all gonna die. I think it's gonna nuke them. Also, they were so stupid that there were only two power things left. Like, there, I mean, there were only three uses of the battery left. That was stupid. Well, two years. I mean, I, yeah, I know, but do they go for that? Well, not even two years. Oh my god, I'm not I think the day, Sorry. the day everything goes wrong was 692. That's still not two years. Saying two years. Well, that's because they were rounding up. Who cares? <laughs> when you're in space for 692 days, it's two years. <laughs> if, I, if I'm if I'm here for 13 days, am I going to say, like, well, I was, I was here for a week and six days? I'm going to say, I'm I'm here say for 13 weeks. days. I'd say, I'd two, say weeks. two weeks. <laughs> um, I didn't write that much stuff down. Um... It was the Cloverfield Space Station, which is something that people found out when the ARG was happening. I didn't like it. You didn't like the fact that it was Cloverfield? I don't like it that because... That Cloverfield is why part they, of it. I don't even remember, correct me if I'm wrong, like why they even named the first movie Cloverfield. Because um, it was the Cloverfield, uh, the whole, like, the... I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look this up. Wait, I don't even know what the f second movie I get. Ten Cloverfield Lane, because that's the address of the house where probably ninety five percent of the movie takes place, if that. Probably like ninety eight. Because in the first movie, the film, it says it's um um. It's 
Uh, the film was presented as footage from a personal camcorder recovered by the United States Department of Defense in the area formerly known as Central Park. Oh, wasn't it like Project Cloverfield was, or something? Yeah, bearing a disclaimer stating multiple sightings of a case designated Cloverfield. Okay, so this is what this is why they did it. Mm-hmm. They didn't know why. We didn't know why it was Project Cloverfield. Then it's Project Cloverfield because mm-hmm. that Cloverfield space station caused it. Whoa. As for 10 Cloverfield Lane, that's just a coincidence. So actually, the part I don't like is 10 Cloverfield Lane, oddly enough. Because that's just... Because that's a separate universe. That's the other Earth. Welcome to the multiverse. Ten, they call 10 Cloverfield Lane because it happens at 10 Cloverfield Lane. I know that. So that's why that's called that. They called it Cloverfield. It wasn't even supposed to have Cloverfield in the title. Which one? The second one? Second one. That wasn't even supposed to be a Cloverfield movie at all. And then they made it. They added the whole thing with the um, mailbox after. And then... Just so they could be like... Just so they could call it... And because J.J. wanted it. I don't remember what the original movies were, what the original title was. And people hate this movie, apparently. The Paradox? The critics hate this movie. Yeah, critics were hating the movie. It's got a 17 on Rotten Tomatoes. It oh, went worse. 5.8 on IMDb. Oh. It was lower It felt... What you said before the movie, where it, it, you didn't really know what it was, it kept jumping all over the place. So did 10 Cloverfield Lane. No, but 10 Cloverfield Lane jumped all over the place with the plot. This jumped all over the place with, like, what kind of movie it was. I don't know what movie it was supposed to be. Is this a horror movie or a sci-fi? I don't think it was supposed to be horror at all. No, I, don't, I didn't see horror. I saw, I saw so like a, a psychological sci-fi. thriller that a was thriller. a sci-fi. It's a, sci- it's a sci-fi thriller. I'd say sci-fi thriller is quite accurate. Mm. Um, what? Yeah, it's still recording. Yeah, it's still recording. Okay, good. It's still I'd recording. I just like to see it. You just want to <laughs> see it. Just yeah. looking at a time. Looking I at like a time to, code. I like to see the lines move when I talk. Mm-hmm. Vlad's wasting phone batteries, so... Because we're using off. Save power. We're going to save power, so we don't have to... resources, yeah. we got to save our oil reserves. Um, another thing I wrote down... Okay, what was the whole Molly thing? The whole little girl. What the fuck was that? Was that just to give that dude something to do? Because why was Molly there, but her parents all the way in fucking Philly? She said her uncle died. She was with her uncle. Yeah. But until the fourth movie. Which is called Overlord. What? <laughs> There's already... Wait, what? We're getting the fourth... <laughs> we're getting... We're co- joking, but it's actually a fourth movie. And coming out on October. Hold up. We didn't know the name of this third movie... Like a week and a half ago, but we well, know the name of the fourth movie. The f- they picked up the fourth. J.J. Abrams and Bad Robot bought Overlord. If I can, I'm gonna get this correct. I'm gonna get this correct. Over. Well, this was called Lord. God Particle for the longest time. And then for it's not, for t- a week, it was called they, God they, Particle. They finished this movie before they had a title for it. Pretty much, this movie was um, almost finished when they made. Okay, up the here's title an article months. by Screen Rant. Cloverfield 4, a.k.a. Overlord, is a crazy movie, says J.J. Abrams. And this comes out in October. Um, the film has been cloaked in mystery prior to release and delayed multiple times. Oh, really? Yeah, this movie was supposed to come out a couple of years, eight, like four years ago, Overlord. And then JJ and Bad Robot bought it and then fixed it. It's not coming out in October. Uh, 2018. It's not coming out in October. It says... They said this movie's coming out in May. 
it's not coming out in October. So you're saying it's going to drop soon? I, earlier? I'm not saying soon, but it's not dropping in October. And it's not called Overlord. It was originally called Overlord when they picked it up, and it's still saying it's called Overlord. They usually don't give the title out till very end. And yeah. now the fact that we already have a title for it now, I think it's staying. If it doesn't yeah. have the word Cloverfield in it, I'd be shocked. But Overlord... <laughs> Come on now. It's not going to come out in October, and Overlord might be in the title, but that's not the title of the movie. That's just, I'm just going to call it right now. Cloverlord. Uh, Cloverlord. <laughs> here's a quote from JJ. Here's a quote from JJ. Um, it didn't really feel like it was any fun to release a Cloverfield paradox with everybody knowing that it was coming. Could we possibly yeah. do this and keep it a secret and release this thing in the way we did? I felt like to me that's the spirit of these movies, that's the spirit of this series. Yes. So to talk about what the next one is and what's going to happen feels sort of counterintuitive. Overlord, first of all, is something I can't wait for you to see because the director, Julius Avery, has done an amazing job on it. But the, but, the, but the specifics, you know, we should wait and see. But that's a really crazy movie. Who's Julius Avery? Yeah. It shocks me that I've watched three movies and I know almost nothing about what's happening. Like, aliens-wise. Like, who, who knows? I feel like if once enough movies come out, there's going to be an order that you have to watch them in. Overlord is them. already credited yeah. as a movie by, like, IMDb and everything. There's going to be, like, a, like a time order. You know, there's going to be an order you should watch it in, which is probably the order in which they come out. Like, Star Wars. Yeah. You don't watch the Star Wars movies in the order yeah. they came out. You're doing it wrong. Oh, my God! Okay. There's our date, October 26, 2018, this movie's coming out. Guess who's in the cast? You know S.H.I.E.L.D., right? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Sure. Um, the person that plays Fitz is in the movie. Okay. Which is why he wasn't in a lot of the beginning of the newest series season. It took him like five episodes to come into the season. He was still filming. He was still filming. This is an all boy cast. Wow, sexist. There's only eight dudes, eight people in this movie. Sexist. Bigger than Hollywood. What? So, okay, so on IMDb, it says that the movie is about the story of two American soldiers be behind enemy lines on D Day. That's not staying. No. Nothing about that. Nothing we know about that movie now is staying. Except the cast. Well, yeah, the cast, maybe. But and I think the date. No, I don't think the date. I think something's going to happen on that date, but I don't think that's going to be the release date. I don't know. Okay. What was my next thing I wrote? I have a lot of things. Um, so they answered who Jensen was. She was from the second nerf. The girl is not was not Jensen. Molly was not Jensen. And then the fact that Kill's death was useless. That's all I wrote down. Yeah. How does this movie relate to the first one? Is their pod that's coming down the thing that we see at the end of yes. Cloverfield? I, I go with yes. I think it only relates by because whatever they did with that mm -hmm. particle accelerator is probably what got that monster in New York. But that's but the specifics we don't know, but but that did the monster show up after the space station left? I, I that's my guess. So do you think the space station when it did that it caused the monster to arrive? It's almost like they switched. Like something was there. So you're saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Don't quote me. So <laughs> what, so what I think you're saying is. 10 Cloverfield Lane is happening possibly a little bit ahead of this. What's happening? So the aliens are already on the other Earth, and when they switch, one of the fully grown aliens goes onto our Earth. I think all three movies are on the, the same exact Earth. exact same time. In the exact same Earth. No. No. No? No. Because... Of the alien spaceships in Ten Cloverfield Ten Lane. Ten Cloverfield Lane would be later. Later? But not much later. Because yeah, Cloverfield... I could, agree, I could agree to that. I think 
what happened in New York in the first movie that happened before 10 Cloverfield Lane. And then more came but or why whatever. Did, why didn't they talk about it in 10 Cloverfield Lane? It was just the three of them. But, like, her car crash, because they didn't really know about it yet. You know what I mean? What and why are the aliens... Like, there were, all they knew was there was an attack on New York, and then stuff just started why exploding are the wherever they were. Why are there alien spaceships? We're gonna find out. Oh my god. Maybe, oh, Maybe like, yeah. one got lost on Earth, and then it triggered all the other ones to come. Yeah. Or something. Like, there's, there's literally an endless amount of possibility there. Yeah, the space station leaving... Potentially brought them onto the Earth. Maybe coming back, they brought spaceships with them, alien spaceships with them. Because right after they left, the guy was in his bed when all that crap was exploding. Like it happened like that. Like there was nothing wrong with Earth other than the need of power before that left. spaceship left. Like, I mean, what are the odds? So the, this is the same monster we just saw, right? That's Chloe from the first movie. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so we got the I same monster. Is, I think it's the same monster. Are we to assume that the end of this movie is before or after the bombings happen with the jets? Do we, when we hear the jets in the movie, is that when the jets are happening in Cloverfield? Like them going across? I think the only one that's a little bit past the timeline is 10 Cloverfield Lane. I think Cloverfield literally happened yeah, I'm trying, while all this space yeah, shuttle stuff I'm was trying happening. to do that. They can't see what you're doing with your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> trying to intertwine. I'm trying to get the timeline of these two movies right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. The Earth is out of energy, so they make a particle accelerator. Yeah. Particle accelerator fucks up, mm -hmm. goes to a different dimension. Monster what comes. we think causes the monster to come, mm -hmm. but that's not what the original era G was talking about. I don't, the I original era G, the era G for the original movie, was hinting that this monster was at the bottom of the ocean, and the company Tagarado, which was getting um, chemicals from the ocean to put in. Um, the, this drink called Slusho, which is a little bobblehead figure that you saw in this movie. That Slusho company thing. And that bobblehead went to fans um, who were able to go to a Slusho truck and do stuff. And that bobblehead went to people for this recently. And... Let's go turn that off right there. Oh. Thought that would do something different. Okay. So... They switch to another place. If what we're thinking, alien comes on this one. I think Ten Cloverfield Lane is its own planet. I don't think. Um, then why is this other Earth important? Because of all that two dimensions colliding things, that weird stuff happens. But it, they have a plot. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <Because>, like. <laughs> okay. Because otherwise, we wouldn't have a movie. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a movie. <laughs> okay. So at the same time, husband is on Earth, and the bombing start, or the explosion start, and then you see the monster with the thing. You see Clovey, and then you, Molly is found. Mm -hmm. He takes Molly to a bunker. Where? Where the fuck is this bunker, and why is it a thing? It's just, I think it's just a bunker. Randomly in the city. Randomly, wherever they are. When that, when the Coney Island thing happened, what point of the movie was that? It was the more that, that, was, that was the closing scene of the movie. Okay. But that was before. That was before anything happened. Yes. Because that's when those two, Beth and what's his name, are still together. Listen, the time frame of Cloverfield and, and this Cloverfield movie, Paradox it, it's, are the exact same. I know. The same amount of time has passed because they never go to sleep in either movie, but like hours have passed because they like, you know, listen, listen, from the time they were having that party and New York started going to shit until that morning that where they all died yeah. is about how many hours? I'm going to say six. Something like that. Yeah, it started 
very dark. And it's yeah. quite possible and that the paradox very... happened in six to eight hours, that same time frame, which is when they came in at the end of the movie. I'm going to figure... I'm Do you know what I mean? Yes. I'm it works I'm out too this. well. Yes. Okay. Um, Clover... Nope, can't spell Clover. I'm sure if you Google Cloverfield timeline, somebody's thought this through. I know, but I'm looking something up. Cloverfield, Coney <laughs> Island, and scene. Okay. Oh, that would be helpful. See, this is the picture of, there's the smallest of things there. What they said they were dropping that's outside That's April 27th, 617 p.m. Outside of Delaware, is, so this is not the thing we think. Delaware is not Coney Island. Delaware is above. No, but Delaware is close enough. It's New Jersey. But that them dropping down is at the same time the monsters there. This is happening way before. Way before the events of the first movie. Because he's re-recording over the tape, which is why he keeps cutting back. Oh, this was the past. This is the past. Yes, this is before Cloverfield started. Okay, all now... The clo all the parties started and everything. Now I'm just mad. <laughs> Let's see if there's a timeline. Let's just cheat and look at somebody else's work. Okay, then let's figure... Let's, <laughs> figure, let's finish figuring ours out. Too late. <laughs> he has found it. That's a manga. Field versus Godzilla. That's a manga. Manga. Oh, this, oh my god, there is one! This says. What is. What source? What source? Uh, simple chart makes sense of the insane Cloverfield paradox. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds reliable. What site? This says Cloverfield takes place in 2008. Yes. 10 Cloverfield Lane takes place in 2016. Which, which is, is when it comes out. Yeah. Which is... This movie takes place in 2028. This says this movie takes place in 20-something. It says 20 20XX. It's 20-something. But it's definitely past both of the other movies. Be and this says Overlord's going to take place in 1940-something. Based probably on that plot of the D-Day. Mm -hmm. They don't know exactly what year, but it's 1940-something. Because with the Tagorado JP... I'm not going to just go to it. Um, Tagorado JP, it was saying something's happening in 2028 that 10 years from now, 2018... Yeah, there's a different there's a different one. This one says 2009, 2016, 2030, 1944. See, they're saying 2030 because every, all the speculation with the ARG for this movie, which was barely any. Though, Matt Stambler, holy shit. Is there is the Twitter paradox is real a real thing? I'm looking this up. Um at Paradox underscore is underscore. This says the events of the Cloverfield Paradox rip holes in space time and clovers deposit themselves across different worlds in different at different points in time. But I want to know when they land. I don't care about the middle part when that was. I really don't care. What I, I want to know when they started and when they land, when that is. I look up Mark Stambler, and there's the whole baker's thing. Remember Mark Stambler, the home baker who got busted by the Los Angeles County Department of Environmental Health in 2011 for selling bread he was baking in his backyard in a wood-fired oven? I'm going to go to Twitter. Twitter.com. You want to see your voice? You want to see your voice? Check-in check in time. Hey, right, Twitter. Twitter. I can't believe we've been doing this for like 34 minutes. We have. 2-2. 3-2. 3-2. It's now 3-2 brooms. Oh, man. Oh, I just got the 2-2 two -two notification, but where's the... That was 31 seconds into the period 2-2. Two -two. And they scored with... So that was two goals in 35 seconds. And then they scored again. Yes, 3-2. Crew got the goal up on a power play at 2 minutes and 3 seconds. 
Do you get notifications? Going? Here's oh, the thing. I just looked at the app oh and God. I saw two two and it flashed a three two. The Canucks six nothing over the Stars. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh my God. Owner loses. They are related. Okay, so the whole thing with Mark Stambler is that he shares the name with Howard Stambler for Ten Clover Hill Lane. The whole thing with people on the Reddit was saying they're brothers because Howard Stambler, John Goodman, worked at a satellite company that worked that was part of Todd Verado. Thank you, phone, for turning on. Paid silence. You're getting it. Oh, I got news for you. What? Said the fourth movie's gonna come out. We're gonna have even more questions. No, obviously. I mean, that that pisses me off. Why are we going to get a movie from D-Day for this Cloverfield universe? Yeah, I would expect it to, but Unless to it's keep going. I don't want to go back in time. I could give I could give a damn about what happened in 1940-whatever. Okay. If this movie is supposed to take place in the future, 2028, why is the Cloverfield monster there? the Cloverfield monster was there in 2008. But why is it still there? They didn't talk about it at all. And they're acting like they don't even know what the fuck it is. I don't feel like it's that far into the future. I really don't... I don't trust the it. The technology's different. The technology's no, so much No, I feel like different. the technology was only better because that was a richer point of view because they were on the space station and then it's like if you work for the space station you get big no, money. No, I'm talking about regular technology. He just, dude just has a a smartphone. Everybody in Ten Cloverfield, uh, Cloverfield had no. There were no smartphones. It was all flip phones and old stuff. Are you sure it wasn't a smartphone in Ten Cloverfield? It was. It was a smartphone in Ten Cloverfield. I'm talking 2008? about Cloverfield. Cloverfield. Cloverfield was all flip, but that's because they didn't know what a smartphone was because the movie was made in 2008. Exactly. No, so, but that doesn't have anything to do with the plot. No, that because J.J. Abrams is smart, so he's gonna give the correct phones if this is supposed to take at the same time. They didn't have that phone in 2008. Exactly. So if he's gonna say this is at the same time, he's gonna use the same phones. The same God. technology. Damn it. <laughs> it's frustrating. Let's talk about this. I'm real glad in the Maze Runner, those two people didn't kiss. I'm just pissed the movie wasn't called Finding Mino. Minho? That's you mean Minho? 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 Yes, Minho. Minho. I thought it was Minho. Teresa Minho. says Minho. She doesn't know how to say his name. I'm just happy Brenda and Jorge didn't kiss. Why would they ever? Because, I don't know, they were going in and it ended up being a hug, but the whole scene was built like they were going to kiss. Yeah, like they both tilted their head the other way, you know. It was funny. I tripped me out. That was crazy. Only, you only tripped me out because you said it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, don't kiss, don't kiss. I yeah. thought that was going to happen. Let's have another hot take. The music was very good in this movie. Which one? This movie. Both movies. <laughs> Ten, Cl Clo We're all over the place Clover now. Cloverfield Paradox had great music, as did Maze Runner. I, I don't listen to the music. I really don't. I can tell you it wasn't bad, because it was bad, I would have noticed, but I'm, I'm not listening to the music. I got, I'm got. sorry. That's why you don't know what a score is called. <laughs> That's quite right. <laughs> um, Do three two bones. Any other? Did you have any thoughts? No, no more thoughts. No more thoughts. Fuck. I'm good. Um, I just hate that they mess with physics. You just hate that they mess with I physics. Hate that they mess with physics. No one can get physics right. It's a space movie. We don't know how space is gonna but work. They, they showed when that Chinese lady died that as soon as the capsules open to the vast space, everything instantly froze. Only because water. But. Regardless, the other room was not filled with water. But it still had two living beings inside of it that are made of water oh. and should have either boiled or frozen as soon as the capsule was depressurized. You know what? I agree. 
Because that's what happens. Your blood boils and you explode or you freeze. That's what space does. I thought it was a weird arrangement of countries that were on the space shuttle. Germany, United no States. No, Canada or Mexico. There was Brazil. There was Brazil, but Who no was Canada. Like, Monk? It didn't make much sense. Somebody was from Brazil. I saw the Brazilian flag. Monk? Brazil, yeah. Was it Monk? There was somebody from Brazil. What was Kiel from? Was he also U.S.? He was U.S. He U.S.? Had, he had NASA written. There was, only one, there was only one from each country. There was none from... No two people were from the same country. Yeah. Who was Hamilton from? Britain. Britain. She just lives in New York, or was she living she in Britain? She did not live in New York. She lived in New Great York. Britain. Then why is her husband where he is? Because the thing is Holy Kansas. fuck! Does... <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore, Garrett. No, we're in Kentucky. Kansas fried chicken. Is this happening in, like, England? And on Earth? No, I don't think so. Did the girl have a British accent? The no, Jeep. Philadelphia. No, that was definitely the United but then, States. Wh- but she's representing Great Britain. Oh, I just got so confused. The, the, the meeting why? station for all the countries in the U.S. She's representing Great Britain. Okay. She's not an American. But she was in the United States. Mm-hmm. Volkov was from Russia. Yes. yes. Murph was Murphy or Murph? Murphy? He was from Ireland. Ireland. Yes. That's why it was a only weird because, arrangement of countries. Only because Chris O'Dowd. They, yeah. Only because Chris O'Dowd. Yeah. Um, which, great casting, I think. Yeah. I'm surprised Kim Jong-un didn't send somebody. He likes rockets. Sam was from China? Yes, China. Rocket Man. Yeah, Chinese flag. Okay. Rocket Man! <laughs> he was a whole lot. Thank you, Elton John. Thank you, Elton John. Mm-hmm. So is that going to be our closing song? No. <laughs> absolutely good. It be. absolutely should be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm hold up real quick so you can play it instead of editing it in. I'm not going to do that thing where I lower the volume. No, you're just going to do that later, okay? No, I'm going to do it while we're... It's going to happen. Rocket Man! Rocket Man. Okay. <laughs> um, where do we think on Earth takes place? Oh, you know, to assume New York City because the monster's there? But if this is in the future, it... They left... They went outside Delaware. Delaware is literally... Like, New Jersey's in Delaware. And it's literally... You cross one bridge and you're in New York City. Like, it's all right there. Not every state is the biggest Florida city. They said Delaware... Just to throw you off. If they said New York, it would connect too quickly. But Del... And are they really gonna... It's literally... It's... It, it, but that's not by New York... Delaware's right here. New, New York's, York's up. up. New York's up. So you're not if. Do you really think they're gonna shoot a pod out of a space station, r- rotating around the Earth, and know exactly where it's gonna land? By they're, math, yes. They're close enough. They do that whole thing. They're in, close enough. Have you seen Hidden Figures? No. A whole eighth of the movie is spent figuring out where he's supposed to land on Earth they're, on reentry. New York City and Delaware are close enough that they, it could easily be a miscalculation. I don't think so. It could easily be a miscalculation. Anything could have completely screwed up that trajectory. Let's look at this picture. Let's look at this. New York's way up there. Delaware's right here. That's a, that's a whole New Jersey that's not away. That, that's not that. New Jersey's There's not that whole long. New, New Jersey's Jersey not that long. I mean, longer than like Rhode I've Island. I've driven through, yeah. I've driven through that. It's just one state after another. Exactly. Delaware is so weird to place. Is that Vermont right there? Or is Vermont? Vermont, Vermont would be much, not Vermont. much what? higher that, than that. Is that Maryland right there? Oh my god, that is Maryland that That's Delaware Maryland? is touching. Okay. Vermont is I don't is care awful. about these northern states. Great. <laughs> New England. There you go. I'm flattered. It's Covers all them. one place, and then there's New York City, and one, like Boston, and Washington, D.C. And then Richmond, Virginia. So we're... So we're in New York City. That fell. something. I dropped it. Yes. So we're in New York City. Mm-hmm. I just don't like it that the movie doesn't tell us. I mean, I know that's probably like something that... Fa- yeah, if, that, if that rocket's off by a degree, you're, you're literally in, in New York. Like, that's, I'm a disagree. That's... 
150 miles. What if they hit the monster and then the monster, like, ricocheted them into <laughs> New York? They bounce off the monster and fly 100 miles to New York City. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the funny part is, like, you can look online, but they know as much as we do. There are smart people on this color field. Reddit is very smart. Somebody has a theory. Um, Water Branch on the Cloververse Reddit, he says, um, in 10 Cloverfield Lane, Emmett describes seeing a bright red flash. Um, the Reddit user believes that this flash was the Cloverfield Station firing the particle accelerator. Somehow that event spanned countless realities and even different times. That's a very stupid. Theory. That guy said, "Have they tried turning it off and back on again?" Yes. <laughs> There's also some very stupid people on Reddit <laughs> trying to explain why this is under humor. Because it's a movie. No, this. Um. No, because it doesn't make sense. This one person was saying that opening the rift in the dimensions can send the monster back in time, but that doesn't explain why it's there now, in the present tense of this movie. Which is weird. And everything. Oh, that kind of makes sense. It doesn't, though. How, no, it sort of does. The, if this movie is supposed to play, take place in 2028, how are you sending something back 20 years in the past that is there now? Maybe it's in another movie that we haven't watched yet. <laughs> Overlord's not going to explain this. Be, absolutely not. The fifth one will. <laughs> if not, the sixth one. I'd hope they wouldn't save it for the seventh one. I'd hope. <laughs> well, I mean, what do you think... Okay, what do you think they're going to do with the next movie? Is it going to come out through Netflix, theaters, Hulu? The fuck should I know? <laughs> what do you think the next thing is going to be that they're going to do differently for marketing? The, the, this is getting some pretty nasty reviews. So, so I reveal? doubt they'd go to a theater. They're just going to probably sell it through Netflix. I really Overlord? Like, yeah. It, it, it would be ballsy to go to a theater after the reviews this movie's getting. It would be quite ballsy. I mean, that's just the critics. People yeah. are loving it. Yeah. Cloverfield viewers are loving the movie. What if someone's really... The, people who um, the, theater, the Reddit. <laughs> the people who really... But the Reddit is only the people that care. I'm saying Cloverfield people viewers... People that don't care don't go on the Reddit. Th they don't care because they don't care. Yeah. The they people, went to go the watch a possible horror movie and it's some freaky sci-fi movie that doesn't the make sense. The people who go to theaters to watch this movie are the people on Reddit making these theories that want to see it. The audience scores are 52%. That's... It's failing, but... <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite, it's quite it bad. Seven. Critics gave it a 17, the audience gives it a 52. That's better. That's a lot. That's a huge discrepancy. Mm -hmm. And it's Rotten Tomatoes. I don't freaking trust Rotten yeah, Tomatoes. Which one do you trust? None of them. <laughs> I don't know what... I, I don't know how IMDB scores it. I don't explain their algorithm. I don't understand their algorithm. I don't... I, li I like the movie, so I'm liking it. There you go. I mean, that's the way to go through life, right? Yes. Doesn't matter what the other people like. An you actual like it. statement if it's your thing, from Go that. for it. No. But you ask me how it's going to come out, and I'm trying to provide <laughs> some some information. I really Did don't. Did Netflix think really on. say this? Tweet this at someone. It's fucking dropping tonight. Get ready, my respected and beloved friend. Mm. What? Never know. Go through there. Go back. Go back. History. Go back. Leave that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix US that was? Yeah. They, this person said on Reddit it's a sci-fi suspense. Yeah, that's a perfect description. 
I'm going to go back to February 4th. I like Thriller more. Johnny Hooper, Chris Van Inches. Stop. 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 that. Jeez. Why is this app so much ahead of yours? What? I have I the that, NHL app. I saw that goal like two minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> He's also blind. not paying attention. Here's a theory. All movies are different timelines. Let's see what this person has to say. Click to see spoiler. Is this what you saw earlier? Is this what you saw earlier? This is what you saw earlier. That's exactly what I saw earlier. Okay, so this is what you saw earlier. The exact photo. Which I'm okay with. I don't see that tweet. They didn't put that. Here's they put another, Cloverfield tweets, but that Here's, to the here's what... Um, a uh, person says about this, um, great diagram regarding the 2008 OG Cloverfield timeline. I read someone suggesting that TCP, Todd Arado, uh, company, brought the mon- or, not, I don't know, that TCP brought the monsters into this timeline hundreds of years before the movie, that it slash they live and grow up in the ocean before being wakened up by the satellite. This way it still fits with the canon established from the original ARG. See, Todd yes. What? 3-3? Three, three? No. What? I wasn't sure about that. You got positive points today? No, I actually didn't. <laughs> I don't know why I cheered. In all honesty, I don't have any Vegas player except Marc-Andre Fleury, and he did not allow a goal. So, I'm good. He only has three saves halfway through the first period. Here's another person. It's a great side. person asked if um, the paradox is... Oh, it is 3 3. Haha! It was. Who was that? Yeah, that's why they're saying 2030, because it's been 692 days. This person got it wrong, they said 694. Um, it starts in 2028, and it's 2030 mm-hmm. by the time the bulk of the movie happens. Which is why they were saying 2030 or whatever you were reading doesn't matter at that point other than the fact that it's well after the other ones if it was 2030 I expected some more technological what if Overlord is gonna be here's a theory here's a hot take what if Overlord is gonna be on this second dimension planet during the war no they're already saying it's a war movie but D Day happened on the original war, uh, world. That's just there could be a placeholder holder. I don't know. I'm gonna wait till we see the trailer. I'm gonna wait till we see the trailer. I severely doubt it. Because once we get a trailer, that means ninety percent of in that trailer must be in the movie, or else that's um, false advertising. Given uh, by law. Wow. <laughs> should be a political science major. <laughs> No. Um, yeah. So, what are you, any closing thoughts? Anyone? Closing thought is, we're probably going to do this after the fourth movie comes out, and everything we're going to about to say, that we just said is going to make zero sense. Well, then the listeners are going to have to wait till, um... I feel like we should, when the fourth movie comes out, we should listen to this podcast then watch the fourth movie, then record another one. I also think we should podcast during the NHL trade deadline. I think that would be fun. You want to do an episode about Tuesday? that? Of fun. Yes. <laughs> Something like that. You want to do that? It's for a thing? February 26th, which is a Monday. Never mind. <laughs> you want that to happen? Yeah, I want to do a trade deadline podcast mm-hmm. just discussing well, what happened well, well we gotta start doing this weekly so yeah we'll just find new topics well, no it's a tangent podcast we could literally talk about anything tangent podcast Tang- about, that's why it's a tangent drop losing contract oh we'll God. talk about that next week <laughs> alright so thank next you next week that was news last week <laughs> we'll, we'll find something we can talk about anything did you um, guys hear that Trump won the election <laughs> 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 who was that? Um, so, thank you for listening to this podcast, The Professors. Um, 
No, because we just talk, we're talking. It sounded like you stopped. No, we're talking. <laughs> and I can't edit this in post because there's music, so... Sing over copyright music. Rocket Rocket Man. Man. <laughs> All right, so thank you for listening to this podcast. It's been me, Garrett. Do I really need to say my name? Yeah. John. You know who I am. <laughs> That's Aaron, everyone. What's the other I videos? I'm like four of them. Oh, you're your father. father. <laughs> what? You're in. You're in more. You're in I mean, most of them. You're in most of them. Three solely about me. The going to be. the race. There's, there's my two. The ra- race. I've now got two races in Nature Boys. Nature Boys, and uh, what? Manhunt. Oh, Manhunt was mostly me. Yes. Manhunt was it was just us and Luke making a, an appearance, a very <laughs> hilarious and dramatic appearance. <laughs> oh man! Anyways. If you've listened to this whole podcast. You deserve a cookie. Because <laughs> I know I won't. <laughs> For real. This is long. How many minutes are we in? 56. Oh my god, we're almost an hour. If you listen to this whole thing, God bless you. Oh, I hope. because Type it's... the phrase mini Oreos into the <laughs> comments if you listen to this whole thing. For a shout Thank out. Thank you. We'll give you a shout out if you we type mini Oreos. Autumn, if you listen to this whole podcast, put in mini Oreos. At everyone. I'm talking to you, Autumn. Hey, Autumn. You're really listening to this right now. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? It's called a bit. It's called a bit. What the Anyways, fuck? Anyways, so these are getting uploaded every Tuesday. Um, Are we record? going to record on like Friday or Thursday this week? I don't give a damn. I'm not going to be here. Friday after yeah, he's gonna class. be gone for a while. So, Thursday, wanna, so we're gonna do this every week, but we're gonna not stick to it the first week. <laughs> we're gonna take a hiatus, <laughs> or it can just be, or we, or we can just do a Black Panther review. I need a vacation. Yeah, you can just do a two person. We can do a two person. I'm good. We can I'll take. Be special, <laughs> I'll be a special guest. Why don't you call me? Put me on speaker. Yes. I'll talk to you in the car. <laughs> Okay, so these no, this, don't do that. Listen, I'm playing music. I'm DJ. So so this podcast gets uploaded on Tuesdays and. We're going to take a week hiatus. I need a vacation. You need a vacation. Um, vacation. After this week... You need a vacation. I'm getting one. Mm. Sort of. Not really. Um, Maybe it can give me more stressful years. I changed it. Did you notice? That would be a great time for a fire alarm. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be um, a great time to go watch the rest of the Bronze So, games. thank you for watching. Four minutes left in a second. I'm a rocket man! Rocket man! Elton John, I love you.